Vegas, and while we're in Vegas, there we're here for SEMA. SEMA is car stuff, right? So while we're here, maybe we should do some car stuff. We've got a few 914s. We're going to go out on the strip tonight and uh, get into trouble. Let's see what we can do. This is a uh, 1970 914, been converted to a six. Uh, still retains a 901 transmission, uh, but it's got a lot of really cool upgrades uh, from brakes to uh, some Fook-based uh, three-piece wheels in 17, uh, tens in front, 11 in back, support in back, more than uh, 275s in the rear on an 11-inch uh, three-piece wheel. So nice. it's, it's got lots of rubber in the back. The, the seats were a bit of a challenge because it is a 70. Um, so to get a, a dual locking slider on the passenger side, we had to build some custom mounts, uh, which we will have uh, for sale shortly. So they, initially in the 70s, they had a fixed passenger seat, and the only way you could adjust it uh, as a passenger to be able to keep yourself in place was what they had, a, they, had they called a dog bone that was set on the floor. And the dog bone was shaped kind of like it had little parts that stuck out, and depending on how you rolled it over in there, it gave you a different length depending on how long your legs were. And so when you were going around corners, you would have to actively move your feet to push up against it to push yourself back in the seat. So it was a very active passenger seat drive. It was a lot of fun. Um, I never really appreciated that until uh, I went to Octaner Fest a few years ago and rode in a real M471, and I was very happy to have that dog mount. So having an adjustable seat is definitely an upgrade. So I believe the history that I'm aware of on the car that the motor was built by Rothsport Racing. So. It is a three liter twin plug, uh, 76 Carrera European motor, yeah. uh, and then it's fed by PMO still. So uh, it's uh, almost 300 horsepower, I think it runs 270. Uh, so plenty and it, of, and it sings very well. <laughs> plenty of horsepower to get you going on this. Yeah. All the weight's been taken out of it. So I mean, they, they, they built this thing obviously with a purpose to race. Uh, from headlight motors being gone uh, to even the, the drilling uh, of the, uh, of the, all the steel in the, in the back uh, near the, the tail lights, you, know, you have fiberglass as far as the, uh, the hoods. Um, so they've, they've done, they've gone to extensive lengths to take out every bit of weight they possibly could. So the venting that's in the hood on this is pretty unique. So what is in the trunk that is needing vent? Uh, there, there is an oil cooler in there, uh, but it, it's, it's got a fan on it, so I, I don't really think it needs much. I think it's mostly uh, for looks and maybe to, to save some weight. It's, it's just badass, that's why. It looks cool. This is Mikey's 914. Mikey, tell me about this car. 1972, 1.7 liter fuel injected. Apparently I got a new uh, TPS uh, from 914 rubber that's gonna go in it. Um, if you wanna come over, I'll show you. My girlfriend Kate ended up uh, helping install the dash. I don't know if you can see. Uh, that's a 914 rubber dash. Um, I have the 914 uh, seat covers. Um, I wasn't brave enough to put them in, so I had to have somebody actually do that for me. So, how long have you had this car? Had it for a couple of years now. Okay. Um, and uh, the last notable place uh, that I got to take it to was the Vegas Auto Fest. And before that was um, Loof to Colt. I got to go to Loof 6, I think, with, uh, with you, actually. You were in it also. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so, tell me about uh, what's special about this car. Uh, what's special about this car would be that um, I get to drive it all year round in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. There's a... I like that the top uh, on all 914s comes off, and I like to have this one off most of the time. What do you like so much about the 914s? Oh my gosh, that you just don't see them around. 
Um, there's something special about um, the Type 4, Flat 4 motor, but they're like a go-kart. But uh, it really is a driver's car. I mean, uh, you don't have to go fast to have fun, and uh, you can still get a ticket going, you know, 85, 90, and it feels like you're going about 140, so. I may have some footage of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're a ton of fun. I mean, it's one of the, it's, everything's mechanical, um, the dog leg's pretty freaking awesome, and uh, having valet in Vegas try and park it is pretty comical. Uh, Shifting in a 914 where <laughs> your bushings are not quite where they should be is vague at best uh, <laughs> but other than that i mean it's just a it's just an old car that uh, likes to go fast and uh, loves the corners all right thank you mikey thank you guys love you guys over 9014 rubber get all your stuff from them This is a 1973 914 with a Type 4 2.4 liter in it, fed by 48 Dells. Um, it's a wide body, fiberglass flares, uh, fully adjustable suspension, coil over, uh, with also a brake adjustment on it. So it's been tracked a little bit, uh, but it's a pretty quick little car. But I also enjoy the fact that it's a mid-engine car, which is really rare, and uh, it's such a great platform for anything you want to do from from street to track um, it's just always been such a great platform in my opinion so that's what got me into the 14s so this one's highly customized so this this one is a tribute to a 916 so tell me a little bit about what the the 916 and what the work has been done on this one for that tribute well i mean as far as that goes i mean the wide body is the is the biggest thing there um which like i said they're they're fiberglassed in as far as the flares go um there is a full oil return to the front uh, with a cooler up front um but it kind of stays true to the the four cylinder in, in the motor and everything out there uh, it's still got the 901 transmission in it so it's still dog leg uh, but it is a great shifting dog leg <laughs> as far as they go